Hey guys, welcome back to the Windswept Cowboy. I am Chrissy and today we are going to be making these three DIYs. These two were inspired by Bethany Lowe Designs and this one inspired me by all the copper and the patina pumpkins, the galvanized pumpkins. I just love all of that. So I wanted to do my own take on it and I'm gonna show you how I created all three of these, so stay tuned. Okay, our first dupe that we're gonna do today was inspired by all those galvanized and patina pumpkins that you see, and I wanted a large one. So I'm going to make my own creation using this patina kit. We're also gonna cut out these eyes, put a light in here, and add a witch's hat. But before we get to the, these steps, we definitely have to make this look like a patina pumpkin. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use this kit from Hobby Lobby and we're gonna paint on the primer. Let me read the instructions so you guys know what is happening. All right, let me find it. All right, step one is we're gonna prime this surface with two coats of primer, allow half hour between coats, two hours for final dry. Step two, we're gonna paint this primed surface with one coat of the bronze paint that's in that package. And then step three, we're going to apply a second coat of bronze paint. And while that's still wet, we will be spraying a light coating of this patina solution on it. And then at that point, it's supposed to activate and turn this greenish blue color. And hopefully we can get that on like a time lapse for you so you can see it actually turning. I'm super excited about that. is done and we're gonna wait 30 minutes and then come back and do a second coat. All right, we are moving on to the bronze step. We came out to the garage because once I put the second coat on, we spritz the patina on and I wanna do it out here and not in my house. So we're gonna go ahead and start with one coat of the bronze.
You guys, can we talk about this finish for a minute? How beautiful. I love this. And now I'm thinking about all the things that I can paint and turn this color. But before I get to those projects, I want to cut out the eyes, the nose, and the mouth because we're gonna light this pumpkin up. This by far is one of my most favorite DIYs that I have done. Definitely, if you love the copper verdigray look, check your Hobby Lobbies. That's where we got the kit from. And you can use a coupon to make it cheaper. And I just plopped on this witch's hat, added a little light in there, and now it's ready. This next craft is inspired by a jack-o'-lantern on the Bethany Lowe website and it is like a candy corn. So we're going to try and recreate that and I'm going to be using this orange craft pumpkin from Michaels and I'm hoping I can cut out my jack-o'-lantern face without butchering it too much because I've actually never used one of these before. So wish me luck on that. And I picked up a couple of different colors. I picked up this wedding cake color from Martha Stewart and also this couscous color. So between the orange, this off-white, and this light yellow, I'm hoping we can create that candy corn effect. And then to top it all off, I'm going to be making a Mod Podge glitter mixture to go on the white part. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is try to find like the nice spot for a face and I think this is going to be it. And then I believe it's just like carving a pumpkin. If you draw your lines on first, I mean you may just like dig in, but we're just going to do a basic jack-o'-lantern face. make this top removable just like a real jack-o'-lantern so I'm just going to draw a circle around this and then use my knife and cut that out.
are ready for some paint now. I'm gonna start with the yellow on the bottom. That way I have a handle to hang on to it. And then we're gonna jump to the white and I will be painting the top white too. because I wanted this to kind of be blended a little bit. I used a wet washcloth or paper towel, got it wet, did a thin coat of paint, and then dabbed it again on top. And that kind of made it a subtle yellow and also that line is blended a little bit more. Now you can have sharp lines if you want, but I really like that blended look. So I'm going to try to do that on the top. But this time I'm gonna start in the back and see if I can get my technique down. I started smack dab in the middle of the front and yeah, I kind of messed up a little bit, but let's continue on. Keep it 
Well, I am liking him. That did take some work and the orange really stood out against the two pastel colors. So I just took my red, wet washcloth and just drug it down like that. I'm not sure where the camera quit on me, so I will have to look at the footage. But that's all that I did. I just tried to blend my lines and make it look pastel -y. So there you go. Next we'll be doing the glitter. I have never mixed glitter and Mod Podge together, but I do want to take my paintbrush and brush that paste on in certain areas. So let's give that a try. I am just going to pour a little bit of Mod Podge. Yeah, I say a little bit. That was quite a bit. We're going to separate out some Mod Podge. <laughs> and then I'm going to sprinkle in some glitter, stir around, and paint it on. And I've never done this before, so we're just winging it right here for you guys. So don't laugh at me if you've done this before and you're like, oh, you're doing it all wrong. Help. <laughs> Send help. We're going to start in the back. And I'm going to paint each rib with the paintbrush and see what happens. Okay, I am liking the te technique that I'm doing. I'm just using a paintbrush with the Mod Podge on it, painting that rib like that, and then I'm dumping the glitter on it. And then just tap the extra off. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around. All right, after looking at this pumpkin, I feel like we need to doctor up this stem a little bit. And I created this stem with this rope that I just pulled apart. I pulled all the little pieces apart and then I pulled those apart also, like that. There's many, many little pieces involved in this. And then I just put them all together and I hot glued them to the base. Then I used a mixture of Mod Podge and cinnamon to give it that brown color and then it looks like it was just plucked from the vine. Head up in the clouds oh my since I met you Ooh. Heart out of my sleeve now what will I do I'm going to start gathering all of these in my hand and try to keep them equal down here. And I'm going to do it in sections. So I'm going to grab a few and then I'm going to hot glue it down here at the base. Okay, as you saw, I just kind of picked this all up and I'm kind of just kind of winding it around. I don't even know how to describe that, but it just kind of twirls around like a ponytail, I guess. And we're gonna let it sit like this. We can always trim it up after we're done. And I poured some Mod Podge in here. And I'm going to use just a regular paintbrush, dip it in my Mod Podge, and then I'm going to start painting the Mod Podge onto all of the sisal. Like that. And then I'm just going to sprinkle on my cinnamon.
I popped the top because it needs to dry, but how cute is that? I cannot wait, so let's go see it with my other decor. Our final DIY is also inspired by Bethany Lowe Designs, and it is a bottle brush tree, and we're going to ombre it, leave this natural gray and black. And I picked this tree up at Hobby Lobby. After the discount, it was less than $5. So that's a really good deal. And I think I'm going to mask off the bottom, paint everything gray, then mask that off, and paint black and black. And I'm just using what I have. This is a cement spray and then just the 2X spray. I'm not gonna go out and buy any more additional supplies to keep this very reasonable. I made like a little dress for it and kind of just stuck it up into the little branches. And hopefully that protects the bottom from getting any spray paint. but after looking at them, I think they would totally go with farmhouse or any of your Halloween decor because they are just that cute. Let me know which one is your favorite and if you're going to try any of these. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We would love to have you be part of our Windswept family. And you guys go and have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!